hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's me mystic beauty welcome back to the cosmic royal family i hope that you guys are doing amazing i want to say welcome back to everyone who is returning then if this is your first time here with us on our channel i want to say welcome all right thank you so much for stopping by all right let's go ahead and get into some channel messages for you guys from the universe from your spirit guides i hope that you guys um receive the clarity that you were looking for today okay all right universe ancestors holy spirit divine galactic family my beautiful royal ancestors i ask that you guys shield me cover me and protect me as i channel these messages all right Ask that you protect my crown chakra, my throat chakra, so that I can make, I can make, <laughs> I may speak clearly, and I may receive the messages clearly. All right, universe, what is the overall energy for the collective? What is the overall energy for the collective? What's the overall energy. So this is you guys, um, you really just focus on your money right now. You're focused on your stability. Whoever this, whoever this soulmate is right here, this six of cups energy, you don't have fond memories of this person. Yeah, this person let you down. They they did something uh, for you to, you don't, you don't really have fond memories of this person. You know, I feel like at one point you thought this was, this was faded. This was a destined connection. And with the will of fortune being here, it could have been. You know, I'm seeing something that was destined, you know. Um, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Look at this. The lovers in reverse. So, yeah, this was definitely a divine connection. Um, this is a divine connection. It's definitely, or it was definitely, I'm, I'm going to say it is, okay, <laughs> for you guys to come into union, to be together. But I feel like this separation was destined as well. For you guys to be split like this, for and I do feel like that this is a, um, I feel like the angels had something to do with this separation, you guys. I'm going to be real with you. This was definitely divine intervention. Yeah, the will of fortune in between the six of cups and the lovers in reverse. This was divine intervention that separated this connection. That split you and this um this soulmate up or this divine partner up from each other this person want to come out of conflict with you guys yeah they they don't like the fact that things are over between you guys right now they don't like this ending and they they really want to come out of conflict with you but the problem is that you guys don't have fun memories of this person some of you guys i mean i ain't gonna say you don't want them to come back but you know, <clears throat> if <laughs> I ain't gonna say that, I ain't gonna say that, I ain't gonna say that. Just know you guys are just, um, you're doing really good without this person right now. This person actually view you guys as being very independent, you know, very much can do things on your own. Like they honestly feel like you don't need them, even though you've never said that I don't need you. They feel like you're good without them. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Cups. They feel like you guys... So you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So you guys are uh, fulfilling yourself at this time. You're fulfilling yourself emotionally. You're taking care of yourself financially. You know? And this person and this devil energy, like, I just feel like they... They're obsessing over you guys right now. They're in this hermit's energy. And they are obsessing, right? This person is off to themselves. Um, they're not really dealing with a lot of people right now. This person just, you know, kind of laying around. They're going within. Um, Herman and the devil is just kind of like laying around, obsessing over you. All right? The tower. Wow, there's a lot of swords energy here. You got the eight of swords and you got the ten of swords and you got the tower. This person can't get out of their head. Um, why did they betray you? Right? This 
Ten of Swords energy, this backstab, this betrayal, this, this total letdown. You know, this person keep reliving this. They keep rethinking, re, not rethinking, they keep thinking about this over and over again. I'm hearing that they're reliving this energy. They wish that they can, I heard, unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. This person wish that they could unbreak your heart. They wish that they could reverse this, this heartbreak, you know, but you guys are very guarded right now. You're very guarded. You know, this person don't know how to approach you. They don't, they don't feel like you would receive them well, you know? This person is also getting a little bit of their own medicine too. So this person is experiencing some type of karma. And this is a definitely a delay. Whatever karma this person's going through is it's a delay. Okay. Three of Wands. This is this is putting a halt to this person returning as well. You know, spirit is kind of like don't want this person near you until they wrap up some type of karma. You know, this person was very unjust, unjust to you guys. They were just they were just unfair to you. This person was very unfair. You know, Emperor. This person, I heard this person was a tyrant. Oh, I heard this person was a tyrant. Wow. They didn't even have to be like this with you guys. Look, you guys are coming out as the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the High Priestess. And this person's coming as the Emperor in reverse. So this person was very rude, mean, cruel. They, they, this person intentionally ignored your text messages. They intentionally did not call you back. This person was doing this and as a, a, a way to punish you, like a cruel punishment for something that they did to you. Like, this is the part that's messing me over. Like, they did something to you. You did not. This Queen of Cups is very loving, very nurturing, very giving, very patient, very kind, very understanding. And for her to turn her back on this Emperor energy... It's something that they did. It's something that they did. This is somebody who um, I heard by any means necessary. So they want to rule. They want to be on top. They want to get their way any means necessary. So you guys were forced to put a lid on, put a lid on your cup of love for this person. You were forced to turn your back on this person. You know? Some of you guys, you have a new soulmate connection that's coming in. You have a new Two of Cups energy that's coming in, okay? This is going to be a beautiful soulmate connection. Um, I feel like some. this is going to be a spiritual connection that's coming in as well, you guys, okay? Because the High Priestess is back in this, this Two of Cups. A lot of you guys, you're going to be in the Fool's energy. You're going to take this leap of faith. And you're going to go towards this spiritual connection that's coming in for you. You know, and this person's going to, I heard self-defeated. So they defeated themselves trying to defeat you. <laughs> you Y'all ever heard the saying, um, if you dig, if you dig a ditch for one person, you dig a hole or you, you set a trap for one person, you got to sell, you got, you might as well set two. This, you dig a hole for one person, you might as well dig a hole for yourself. Cause you finna fall in the same hole or you might fall in one, right? <sighs> whatever trap they set for you whatever they did to manipulate you it backfired it backfired on this person this person thought that this queen of cups was gonna come running behind them this person thought that this queen of cups was gonna come chasing behind them yes they did but you didn't you didn't this backfired so this person feel like they lost you like they went too far the games went too far the the over the overdoing of the control, right? The overdoing of the manipulation went too far. And you guys are not chasing them. They wanted you to chase them. So this person kind of defeated themselves, you know? Yeah. This person has also been running from judgment. I feel like this person is trying to run from their karma. Which is, and which is you, honestly. Like, you're not a karmic by no means are you guys karmics. But a part of this person facing you is a part of their karma. They have to face you. This person, they've been running from this. Spirit don't really want this person around you anyway right now. It's something about when y'all see this person again, they're not going to look the same. This person could have lost a lot of weight, gained a lot of weight, um, lost everything. I'm hearing, you know, they may, maybe they were riding high. This person not riding high no more. It's karma. It's karma. 
Wow, Spirit is telling me this person is resentful. This emperor is resentful to the, of this Queen of Cups because they got karma for what they did to you. This emperor resents the Queen of Cups because the universe slammed karma on him so fast to him or her whoever's this emperor in reverse energy so whatever this person did to you they got karma immediately immediately you didn't get to see this because this person was so embarrassed they cut off communication they ran they ghosted they disappeared right whatever this person did to you guys they got instant karma this person's whole life has downgraded. They're, this, this is why they're coming out the Emperor Reverse as well. Like, they're not on top no more. They're not large and in charge no more. You know? They still, I heard self-defeated. This person self-defeated themselves out of a beautiful union. Like, this could have been a beautiful, blissful union. You guys were actually supposed to be married to this person. But they self-sabotaged. Yes, they did. I see you guys um, actually coming into, you may decide <laughs> to, if you choose this other person, which is going to be a spiritual soulmate, this is going to be like a divine soulmate, okay? Definitely replacement energy sent from the universe as a blessing to you guys. You're going to marry this person, you know? You're going to marry this person. You're going to come together. You know, so if you don't get married, this you're definitely going to come into union with this person. And I, this this emperor in reverse, this other person is going to come rushing in quickly, quickly want to come rushing in to you guys. When they see you celebrating with this other person, they're going to come in quickly wanting to sabotage your stuff. They don't want to see you happy with anybody else. They just want to, it's about control. It is definitely about control with this person. Universe, what else do you want to um, tell the collective? This is this person tricked themselves. They did. They definitely self-sabotage. They ghosted you guys. They didn't take you back. They 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 remain silent as a way to try to hurt you. But they, this person can't hurt you. You guys are are heavenly guarded and protected by angels. Like they are definitely protecting your feelings. They're protecting your energy from like this person. They only hurt themselves. Look at this hater. This person. Look at. This. So this person is hating on, like, I'm hearing how blessed you are. They're hating on how healed you are. Like this, wow, look at this anger issue. So this person is angry. You remember I said this person, they have some type of resentment um, to this Queen of Cups. And this person has been hating on you energetically. They, This person hate the way that... They hate how you guys healed and you moved on with your life gracefully. They hate how things have turned out for you guys um, in spite of this heartbreak, you know? Yeah, this person thought that they left you unbalanced, all right? They thought they left you unbalanced. They were hoping that you guys were going to remain unbalanced. You didn't. This was definitely a past life connection. <sighs> this person intentionally tried to leave you guys unbalanced. They did. They got a kick out of this. But it backfired on them. This person got karma immediately. And this person is very much angry with you, Collective, because you're blessed, okay? It didn't work out the way they thought. Whatever hole they dug for you, whatever booby trap they sought for you, they, they got pretty much snagged in their own trap. Wow. Look at this. Marriage. Yeah. I still see y'all coming into union, um, but I still in my heart feel like you're going to pick this other person. I see marriage in your future with a divine soulmate. That's beautiful. Look, this person pointing the finger at you. This is somebody who lacks accountability. Also, some of you guys, this person could have been married. So this could have been like a third party situation. This person could have been married and, you know, but they were married to a karmic energy. And this person was supposed to walk away from this karmic energy. They didn't. They turned their back on this Queen of Cups energy. Um, this person was just out here just really, you know, being very much greedy. You know, they were supposed to make a decision to be with their past life divine partner. And they didn't, you know. And this person wanted to try to control you guys. Yeah. This person is still low-key pointing fingers at you. But y'all see how this hand, look at this. I didn't realize this. Y'all see how this hand is pointing at this nine of cups? Nine of cups is an energy of being self-fulfilled, right? You are um, emotionally fulfilled. You got everything that you need. 
You're content. You're happy with your life. It may not be perfect, but you don't, you, you damn sure don't need this person. This person is like blaming you. They're blaming you because they're going through karma because, because the universe is on their butt, on their tail, you know? But like I said, I see y'all getting to know another person. You're going to be getting to know another person. For some of you guys, by the springtime, I'm here. Look at this proposal. I cannot make it up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person's going to propose to you. Family values and morals. So, like, you're going to build a family legacy. This is going to be a very, very beautiful union with this new person. I'm hearing, like, um, blended family. So this new person may already have kids, a daughter for some of you guys, but you guys are, this is going to go so smoothly. This past person is going to be heartbroken, okay? But this is their fault. The spirit said they're always running from their problems. They're always running from, this is a runner. Look, you and this new person is going to be working together though. And this past person is going to be snooping in on your life, seeking evidence, <sighs> they're going to see you posting this new person. They're going to see something online dealing with you and somebody else. And this person is going to go on an angry rampage. Just so you know. All right. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading just as much as I enjoy giving it to you guys. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, you guys, because I can pick up on your energy signature better if you interact with the video. All right. If you just watch. You're not interacting. You're not leaving your energy signature. I mean, I never pick up on your story. All right. Love and light. Peace.